Hello and welcome to the RM Network. Today we are talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. This film stars Ben Schwartz as the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, as well as James Marsden and Jim Carrey, and tells the story of Sonic the Hedgehog as he comes to our world, but is under threat by Dr. Robotnik, and with the help of James Marsden's character, essentially he just kind of goes on this little road trip to save his skin, and to be honest, this was an incredibly fun movie, especially for video game adaptations. I haven't seen something this good since Detective Pikachu, which came out last year, or Tomb Raider. This really is just a family movie that knows exactly what it is. It has good action, a pure heart, and a lot of funny dialogue. I think what really stands out in this film, at least for me, was the relationship between Ben Schwartz, James Marsden, and Jim Carrey. Any two combinations of those three really stood out for me as the standouts of this film. I don't know how much was ad-libbed, I don't know how much was scripted, but it felt like it was just off the cuff, like it was incredibly real. And if it was scripted, you gotta give credit to the writers because they just did a phenomenal job. As well as the visual effects artist, I don't know if it was the director himself or the studio that said we want the redesign after the backlash of the original trailer, but I loved the design of Sonic in this film. If I had to watch the original design for this entire, I think it's like an hour 38 film, I probably would have been incredibly annoyed throughout this entire thing. But this redesign, it gives you that nostalgia. It gives you that feel that, yeah, this is Sonic. This is a character that we know. And you just connect with him much more than you would have the original design had it been shown in theaters. While I'm not going to argue that any of these performances were Oscar worthy, like I said, the three main characters, they bounce off each other so well. And I specifically love Jim Carrey in this role as Dr. Robotnik because he just chews up the scenery to the perfect degree where it doesn't cross a line and you understand that this guy is crazy, but this guy was also Jim Carrey in the 90s. So you just love how he plays it. He never goes over the edge with it. He does it just right. The one thing I had an issue with during this film was the score. It never really popped for me other than one specific track, which if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, you'll notice. And maybe even if you're not, you'll still understand that this is a pretty important track. But the rest of it, nothing really popped. It all seemed like it blended in, which I understand at points here and there, the soundtrack really elevates it to a degree that there are specific scenes that use songs that make you feel like it might even surpass the scenes in X-Men Days of Future Past and Apocalypse with Quicksilver, just because it's that same style of scene, but you're just like, oh my god, I really love seeing Sonic do that. Other than that, this film is exactly what I thought it would be, and even to a degree elevated it. This was a fun family film with a bit of heart, a bit of comedy, a bit of action, and it set itself up for a sequel really well. Do I think it's necessary of a sequel? No. Would I like to see a sequel? Yeah, I'd like to see a sequel to this film. At the end of the day, this film is a film that kids and adults can go see alike. When adults bring their kids to see this film, there will not be a moment where they are bored. Your eyes are glued to the screen because you're just having so much fun. And at the end of the day, that is the word we are looking for. It is fun. So please, if you're interested in seeing Sonic the Hedgehog, go see it in theaters. I think it is well worth your time. But other than that, that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, comment. What are your thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog if you have seen the movie? If you have not seen the movie, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're interested in seeing the movie. If not, just leave your thoughts on any Sonic game or if you're just interested in seeing the movie or not. Other than that, make sure you follow the RM Network on Instagram and Twitter at the RM Network. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rich underscore Mahalski. All of those links can be found in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video and any video we put out here. I'll see you next time.